Hello community! There's a new study with some horrible insights that LLMs only have a linear logic sequence. This is disastrous because if you look now at the premise sequencing and its impact on deductive reasoning in autoregressive language model, there is a new study about the empirical investigation into the order sensitivity and the cognitive bias mimicry. So let's put away everything else we are doing and let's focus here on this study because here we have published today Google DeepMind and Stanford University coming out with this amazing insights and I guess we all will have to code a new logical filter for our rack systems. Here we go. Two simple texts. Have a look at this. Bumper carring has 12 red cars. They have two fewer green cars than they have red cars. They have three times the number of blue cars as they have the green cars. And now comes the sentence. And now it's a sentence. The ring has also yellow cars. And so, if the ring has 75 cars in total, how many yellow cars do they have? And this is a simple logical mathematical reasoning for your LLM. However, Google said, hey, wait a second. If I shift this sentence just a little bit more upwards, if I just move it one sentence earlier, is the LLM still able to do this? And you might say, of course, we have AGI. Everywhere on YouTube, you see AGI is here. It's beautiful. It has everything. It is absolutely beautiful. And the original text, here you have it now. GPT-4 Turbo, yes. Chat GPT Turbo, yes. Gemini Pro, no problem. Perfect solution. If you just move one sentence, in the identical text, what do you think is going to happen? Jet, GPT-4, Turbo, and Gemini Pro fail. Look at this in detail. Can you imagine this? That the linear order you give to a system to find a logical reasoning path forward, if you interrupt the path by just one sentence, the system fail, and I mean just not any system. GPT-4 Turbo and Gemini Pro, one of the most quotation mark intelligent system we have on this planet. So, those authors explore here the complexity and the structure of logical reasoning problems. And for deductive reasoning tasks, they say, hey, rules are conditional statement that we use here to guide the derivation of conclusion from premises. And a rule is easy. Typical formulated if, x, then, y statement. Where the fulfillment of condition x necessitates the truth of outcome y. However, and you know me, for example, here, if we now include some distracting rules, so rules that are not necessary for deriving the correct conclusion, this really will complicate the reasoning task of GPT-4 Turbo. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, for my younger viewers here, I asked that GPT-4 here, show me an example with two rules. If R, then W. If W, then G. So we have two logical rules. Conclusion to be arrived, premise, reasoning process, logical form. If you want to go there step by step. Beautiful. So now let's talk about the new result they found. Stanford and Google, two amazing institutions, analyze the sensitivity of LLMs to premise order, the linear timely order. And after that, you should go to your rack system and add a new logical filter, but more about this later. So here we have another example. Marcos is trying to decide whether he really needs to do his homework. Amazing. And then we have two sentences, and we will just switch those two sentences. That's all we do. So here, first example we have, he has a 50% chance that tomorrow he will have a substitute teacher who won't collect the homework. 
Even if the normal teacher comes in, there's a 40% chance she'll give everyone an extension. Or, in the other text is, now just the two sentences exchange their linear position. So if the normal teacher comes in, there's a 40% chance she will give everyone an extension. And there's a 50% chance that tomorrow he'll have a substitute tutor who won't collect the homework. The rest is identical. And you might assume there's no way that this will influence our logical reasoning path of our LLM. No way. And we go for the most beautiful, for the most intelligent LLM, GPT-4. And in the original text, GPT-4, showing us here the logical reasoning path forward, yes, checks out. This is the correct solution. But if we look now just where we switch the linear sequence of two sentences, what do you guess? GPT-4 Turbo fails. But look at the result. So from 24% chance, now suddenly a 48% chance. So quite a significant derivation. Unbelievable, unbelievable that a reordering integrates here with GPT-4 Turbo reasoning an incorrect solution. Now imagine we have LLMs to do our finance. We have LLMs to do our health. We have LLMs that recommend to us, I don't know what. And now we find out that it highly depends on the linear order of sentence in a logical chain. Let's look at something else. Mathematical logic, pure, gorgeous, unbelievable, and mathematical reasoning. Here we will see it immediately what's happening. So let's take some test with some distraction. This distraction you see here in a different blue. So there we have rules. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many rules. Let's say 20 rules. And then we have the facts and then we have a query. And the query is simple. This is just nonsense words. It's just the, think about it as those words as logical operators. There's nothing between them. So query is Alice Boos and GPT-4 Turbo, our darling, the best system we have, says, yeah, correct solution. So give me here the rules and you go through the rules, it finds the correct solution. But guess what? If you shuffle it just a tiny little bit, GPT-4 Turbo fails completely. Gives you the exact opposite answer. How is this possible? Another example. Let's do something with a little bit of mathematics. And here we now find out that the timely linear chain, the order is so important. Look, GPT-4 Turbo, Chat GPT Turbo and Gemini Pro, Jack can do this. And the task is Thomas withdraws $1,000 in $20 bills from his bank account. He unfortunately loses 10 bills while getting home. After that, yes, yes, yes. So now, watch out. Our other text is, yes, 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 identical text. We just put the sentence, he lost $10, 10 bills while getting home to a later linear sentence position. So now the system must understand that Thomas withdraw $20 bills from his bank account. And then after getting home, yes, 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 and it's identical. And then suddenly breaking the linear happening, the timely linear chain, we now insert, hey, he lost 10 bills while getting home. So in the second sentence, he's already home, but now again we reference, hey, I just remember while getting home, he lost 10 bills. All system fail. All complete LLMs fail. None of them is able to find the correct solution. Neither Gemini Pro, neither ChatGPT, neither GPT-4 Turbo. How is this possible? <sighs> Heaven's sake. What are the insights of this beautiful study? It's so simple. I just use here the 
the original publication from Google and Stanford. Thank you for providing us here with beautiful examples. Logical reasoning. GPT-4 Turbo, that GPT, yeah, forget Palm 2, and Gemini Pro. Let's look just at those two, at those three examples. The order, the forward order in blue. You see here, GPT-4 Turbo, and the number of relevant rules goes from 4 to 12. You see that uh, GPT-4 Turbo stays at about 1 to, I don't know, 0 0.97. So between 97% and 100% correct. Beautiful. If the linear timely sequence is mapped here to the order of the sentences. If we go backward, you see here at about, I don't know, relevant number of rules 8, we, we go down. But please note, this is just here 80%. But you know what? If we look, for example, at Gemini Pro, the scale is here down to zero. So if Gemini Pro here has a linear forward sequence in blue, you see, till six rules, it's okay. But more than six rules to eight rules, my God, he's going down 50%. And then, yeah. Worst case, if shuffled or backward, you see from 6 to 8, we just go down to below 25% accuracy. So there's an extreme problem, an extreme dependency of a linear augmentation theory in a timely order. Here, another example. Here, we have something where all three, yeah, they can do it. But if you all if we exchange now the position of one of these sentences, everything else is identical. Sometimes only one system fails. Interesting. Absolutely interesting. Yeah, what I found, the systems have logical hallucinations. And you thought, hallucinations are fine. But now we have logical reasoning hallucinations in addition to the rest of us. So what am I talking about? Here we have ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo. We have, I don't know, 20 rules, some nonsense rules. Think about us as mathematical operators. Never mind. This is a mathematical logical chain. And we have two facts about Alice, and we have a query. And now the system argues, step one, step two, using here the rules that are available. But then, before it comes to the answer, it says, hey, using rule, if, shade, then, rope, or if, x, then, y. If we now look at the set of rules that we have, if, shade, if, shade, here, yeah, then, rope, no, then, pawn, if, shade, rope, then, size, no, if, shade, then, shime, no, this rule does not exist. ChatGPT, a system that millions of people use, invented a new rule. Yes, it is a generative system. And so to come to a conclusion, and somehow ChatGPT noticed, hey, I'm missing a rule to come to the end, ChatGPT generates out of the blue a new rule that was not in the rule book. So if you use ChatGPT for your mathematical operation, for your financial transaction, for your analysis of stock prices, anything to do with a rule, hey, ChatGPT helps you inventing new rules. But this is not it. <laughs> if we take now this example, and we have facts, Alex is right and Alex is ain, whatever this is, just some operators. And you go through here the rules that you have, you see? And before coming to a conclusion, ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo notices, hey, there's something missing. But you know what? ChatGPT helps you. ChatGPT invents a new fact. And the fact, Alice is, Joan, whatever this should mean, in abstract logic, is not a fact. 
Because we only have two facts. Alice is red and Alice is in. So, our LLM invents a new fact. For us to help to come to the end. Isn't this beautiful? So, the insights are amazing. What is happening here with our best performant GPT system? I don't want to do this test with a 7B system. I don't want to do this test with a 70 billion free trainable parameter system. But you see, we have quite a long way to go. And if you ask me, hey, can I use that GPT for my finance? Can I use it to do my math homework? Can I use it for logical reasoning? I think you should go there and read this study by Google DeepMind and Stanford University. And then you will come up with your own conclusion. Hope to see you in my next video.